Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. So in 17th century England, King Charles II got a little concerned about all the political talk brewing over cups of coffee and cafes. You know, people were starting to be like, there might be some downsides to this political system where the one true ruler is chosen entirely based on whether his daddy was also the one true ruler. So King Charles II started this epic PR campaign against coffee, which included this anonymously written petition against coffee, which reads in part, Coffee leads men to trifle away their time, scald their chops, and spend their money, all for a little base, black, thick, nasty, bitter, stinking, nauseous puddle water. Now I know that description is meant to turn the reader away from coffee, but all it makes me want is a steaming hot cup of puddle water with which to scald my chops. I love coffee. It brings me energy. It brings me joy. Boy, I really only have three problems with coffee. One, if I drink too much of it, it makes me jittery, and also I talk too fast. Two, because it does not arrive at my house on a regular schedule, I sometimes run out of perfectly roasted, carefully sourced coffee beans. And three, the profits of most coffee companies don't go to charity. Well, the Awesome Coffee Club cannot solve problem one, but it does seek to solve problems two and three. A few months ago, we semi-secretly launched a coffee company. The testimonials down there are from people who already signed up. The idea is simple. We work directly with small farmers collectives in the Tolima region of Colombia and provide you with awesome coffee every month or every two weeks, depending on your preference. Let's start with the beans and the people who farm them. There are three things that make awesome coffee different. First, we know exactly where the coffee is being farmed and who is farming it, which is surprisingly rare in the world of coffee, and our sourcing partners at Sucafina make sure to pay those farmers directly so that money stays in the communities where the coffee is being grown. Second, our coffee beans are grown by communities actively working to eliminate deforestation, which is essential because coffee is a driver of deforestation, and this project incentivizes farmers to use long-standing coffee groves rather than clearing forests for new ones. And lastly, compensation. We pay higher than market rates for awesome coffee beans and also guarantee a minimum payment even if market rates drop. This increases farmer income and also allows us to get, like, the very best beans. Our friends at First Crack then roast awesome coffee to a rich, medium-dark roast, and you choose whole bean or ground, and once a month or every two weeks, awesome coffee shows up to your home. The coffee costs $22 per bag, which includes shipping, and you can cancel at any time, no questions asked. If your household, like mine, drinks more than 22 cups of coffee per two weeks, then you can order multiple bags. But wait, you ask, do you ship internationally? Alas, no, at least not for now. Explanation in the doobly-doo. Sorry. Here is the best part about the Awesome Coffee Club. All of the profits are donated to fight maternal and child mortality in impoverished communities. Not some of the profits, or most of them, all. Long-term systemic problems need long-term systemic solutions, and our hope is that the Awesome Coffee Club, like the Awesome Socks Club before it, can provide ongoing, long-term support to charities working to build stronger healthcare systems, starting with the Maternal Center of Excellence in Sierra Leone. Since we soft-launched this spring, we've received so many wonderful pictures and emails and tweets about the coffee, and it really is the best beans roasted perfectly. We think you'll love it. It's good coffee. You can feel good about. Oh wait, I should probably tell you where you can get it. AwesomeCoffeeClub.com, link in the doobly-doo. Hank, I am so nerve-sided. I hope this works. I just made up a word, nerve-sided. That's my feeling most of the time. I'll see you on Friday.